Ohai. Vilnius, the capital and the largest city of Lithuania. The Vilnius city self-government forms the municipal unit. It is located in the extreme southeast of Lithuania, at confluence of the River Wipe. From here, presumably, the name of the city to the nearest river. In 33 came from border with Belarus. Main political, economic and cultural center of Lithuania. Vilnius makes to a third of TDD of the country. All Vilnius County which is officially liquidated since July 1, 2010 produced 38% of DDD of Lithuania. The official population of self-government minus 588,412 people. On January 1, 2021. Are about 20% of the population of the country. The second largest city in the countries of the Baltics, after Riga. The structure of the population, according to the last census, 2011. 63. 2% of Lithuanians, 16.5% of Poles, 12% of Russians. It is for the first time mentioned in 1323 as the capital of the Grand Duke Lithuanian gentleman. Throughout centuries, the main town of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, G. Gildel, and since 1569 and one of the largest cities of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. After the third section of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1795 I was a part of Russia where till 1918 I carried the name Vilna. From 1922 to 1939 under the name Vilna I was a part of Poland. Since 1939 there was the capital of the Republic of Lithuania. Subsequently the Lithuanian Sir. Under the name Vilnius. The remains of medieval constructions, churches in Baroque styles and classicism. During World War II the city was partially destroyed. The historic center is entered in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List. 69% of the area are occupied with green plantings. The third place in the rating of the most green cities of the planet. 2021. Owing to the multinational and multicultural character, the city is known under various names. In Lithuanian historically and in the present, the city is called Vilnius. Concerning origin of the name of the city, there are different opinions. The vast majority of historians and linguists consider that more ancient form of the name of the city, Vilnia and its West Russian equivalent, Vilna, come from the name of the small river Wag, the left inflow of Neris. Neris, in written sources of the 13th, 14th centuries, Nerj Valia, which name is connected with the Oxtatitija Vilnius wave. Other version recognizes that Neris, which, according to one of versions, comes from a Slavic value, is primary jadroni that means big, though interpretation of etymology of the river not so unambiguous and a part of researchers is brought out of the Lithuanian view. Smother the dead. Ervelnias. Devil. Devil that would demonstrate sacral value of the river at the pagan Boltsky population of archaeological culture of the East Lithuanian barrows. In the most ancient written sources in Latin and West Russian languages until the end of the 16th century Vilnia forms, Vilna, Vilna, Vilna. 
in Jedman's letters of 1323 of Incivitate Nostra Regia Vilna, etc. Dominate. In Latin, all names of the cities of a feminine gender. In monuments to writing since the end of the 16th century, the forms Wilno, Vilno are used. About the same time in monuments to the Lithuanian writing. In Doxius Postil, editions of the native of the city, the first printer Jakubas Morkunes in Klein Grammar. The Lithuanian name of the city registers. Vilnius. With the second half of the 19th century, in particular after suppression of the Polish revolt of 1863 by MN. Moraviev, special significance was attached to writing. The Vilna form. I remained till 1918. Was considered as the Russian, and the approval of the Polish nature of the city was seen in Vilna's writing. I dominated in 1919, 1939. Vilnius is located in the southeast of Lithuania, in 18 kilometers from border with Belarus, at confluence Neris. In Belarus, Neris is called and Vilnia. The area is 401 km. 20.2% of total area are built up, and green massifs occupy 43.9% of the territory. Vilnius is located in the territory of the ethnographic region Dukaja. By the calculations of the French National Institute of Geography which are carried out in 1989 and 26 kilometers to the north from Vilnius, in the village of Pernasch there is a geographical center of Europe. Soon after the pond crossing of two lines connecting Gibraltar with the Urals and the Norwegian Cape Nordcap with the Greek island of Crete the memorable sign was established. However in 2004 the French researchers specified the measurements and defined that the geographical center is a little to the southeast on the forest road. The climate of Vilnius is moderately continental with line C that is connected with strong influence of the Baltic Sea. The most part of year cloudy weather dominates. Rainfall on average long term 688 May year, at most in July drop up. Winter in Vilnius rather soft and snow, summer short and cool. Spring and fall very long. A strong heat during the summer period and bitter colds happen in the winter, but it is rare. Average annual temperature, plus 7.2 C. Average annual humidity of air, minus 80%. Average annual speed of wind, minus 3.9 m slash C. The most ancient settlements in the modern territory of Vilnius as archaeological finds in various parts of the city testify, belong to Mesolithera. The city is located in the territory entering the early medieval prefeudal culture of the East Lithuanian barrows of Balts. In the territory of the city there are more than 10 barrows. According to the legends recorded in Chronicles, the mythical Lithuanian prince Svintorog chose the place at confluence of the river White to Neris for the burial. He punished to the sun after the death to burn in the mouth white his body and from now on here to make ritual Trupohashana. The place received the name of the Valley of the Sacred Horn. Shvantrajas' Valley. On a legend, years later the Grand Duke Lithuanian Jediman went from old truck to hunting to the woods surrounding the Valley of the Sacred Horn. After successful hunting, Jediman remained to spend the night on the Sacred Horn. 
he dreamed about a huge iron wolf on the mountain who howled as one hundred wolves. For the morning the prince asked the priest Listica to explain a dream. Listica explained that the wolf means the lock and the city which will be put here by the governor. The city will become the capital of all Lithuanian lands, and how wolves means glory which will extend thanks to advantages of residents worldwide. In written sources the city is for the first time mentioned in the first quarter of the 14th century when it became the residence of Grand Dukes Lithuanian and the capital of Grand Duchy of Lithuania. In a letter in Latin dated on January 25, 1323 Jediman called I will wipe the capital city. In 1387 the Polish king and the Lithuanian Grand Duke Jagiello granted Vilna the Magborg right. In 1503-1522 the city was surrounded with a city wall with nine gate and three towers. Vilna reached development top in government of the king of the Polish and Grand Duke Lithuanian Sigismund Steri who located here with the yard in 1544. Further, the city constantly grew and developed. In 1579, the King of Poland, Stefan Batory, in the city founded Academy of Society of Jesus, Jesuits, which became later the Wilenski University. Thus, Vilna became the first university city of Grand Duchy of Lithuania, both its large scientific and cultural center. Damage to the city was caused by the destructive fires 1610, 1737, 1748, 1749 and epidemic. During the Russian-Polish War of 1654-1667 the city was taken by the Zaporizhia Cossacks of Ivan Zolotarenko and the Russian troops of the Tsar Alexei Mikhailovich. They plundered and destroyed a considerable part of the population. Slaughter continued three days, more than 25,000 inhabitants in one day, according to other data to 20,000 inhabitants or to a third of inhabitants were killed. Destructions were completed by the fire lasting 17 days. In 1655 the Dubrovnitsky nobleman Francis Gandulik who was a part of the Austrian embassy wrote down in the diary. On August 8th we arrived in Iwilwijk. Before war this city was famous for the extensive suburb and wonderful stone buildings and churches, and now everything lies in ashes and ruins. This year's the city seriously suffered also from epidemic of the plague which captured almost all Eastern Europe. After a one and a half fire siege of the Russian garrison, Vilna since fall of 1661 again as a part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. In the 18th century the language Polonization of the city amplifies, pushing aside before the prevailing Belarusian and Lithuanian languages. The number of the Jewish community of the city and her share in the general population grows. In 1769 the cemetery of Rasu. Ross. The oldest necropolis of Vilna was founded. In 1793 the city was occupied by the Russian troops. In 1794 Vilna became the center of a revolt of Tadeusz Kosciuszko. After the third section of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1795 Vilna was a part of the Russian Empire. Vilna became the administrative center of Vilenskaya. 1795-1797 Then Lithuanian. 1797-1801 Two Lithuanian and Vilenskaya. 
and since 1840 again Volensky province entering the northwest region of the Russian Empire. Other provinces belonged to maintaining the Volensky military governor. Governor General. Also Kavensky, Pradna and at different times. In 1799-1805 city walls were destroyed. Separate fragments and sharp Brahma with a chapel and a wonder-working icon of the Ostrobramsky Mother of God remained. In April 1803 the Emperor Alexander I founded the Imperial Volensky University. With summer of 1812 the city was occupied by the French troops of Napoleon. The remains of the broken Great Army receded home also through a will wag. Streets and vicinities were covered with mountains of the corpses which froze, died of hunger and diseases of soldiers. They were buried some months later. After the revolt of 1831, the Valensky University in 1832 was closed. The city wasn't affected by fights of a revolt of 1863, but after his suppression by the General Moravia measures for eradication of the Polish culture and Vilnius giving of the Russian character were taken for what the Orthodox churches which fell into the key were newly built up. Of the time coexistence large Polish, Jewish, Russian and several small national communities is characteristic of Vilna. Lithuanians made some percent of the population of the city. Catholic Belarusians were drawn generally towards the Polish community, Orthodox Belarusians towards the Russian. At a turn of the 19th and 20th centuries Vilna became the center of cultural and political revival of the Lithuanian statehood and the Belarusian national movement. After cancellation of the ban of the press in Lithuanian by Latin in 1904 in Vilna, the first newspaper in Lithuanian in the territory of Lithuania, Vilnius, began to be issued. In 1905 the Great Vilnius Diet, the Congress of Representatives of the Lithuanian People which formulated requirements of the political autonomy of Lithuania took place. In 1906 in the city the first Belarusian newspaper, Nationiva, begins to appear. However the majority of periodicals of Vilna appeared in the Polish and Russian languages. World War I and Civil Wars Before war at the city of Vilna the 27th Infantry Division was deployed. On August 14, 1914, from the beginning of mobilization, the 27th Infantry Division left the neighborhood of the city and was sent to border with East Prussia to the area of Osimno. From 1915 to 1918 the city was occupied by the German troops. On February 16, 1918 in Vilnius the Act of Independence of the Lithuanian State was signed. After on December 31, 1918 the German army left the city, on January 1, 5, 1919 the city was in hands of local formations of the Polish self-defense. On January 5, 1919 it was occupied by the Red Army. In I will wipe from Vinsk the Soviet Provisional Revolutionary Workers and Peasants Government led by five. Mitskivis and Kapsukis moved. At the first Congress of Councils of Lithuania the Declaration on Reunification of the Soviet Lithuania and the Soviet Belarus is adopted on February 18, 20. On February 27, formation of the Lithuanian Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic of Litbul is proclaimed. During the Soviet Polish War on April 19, 1919, the city was occupied by the Polish parts. On July 20, 1920, parts of the Red Army 
Soon after defeat in the Battle of Warsaw, the receding Red Army transferred the city of Lithuania according to the contract between the Soviet Russia and the Republic of Lithuania signed on July 12, 1920. Poland also recognized sovereignty of Lithuania over Vilnius and the Velensky region under the Suvoksky contract signed on October 7, 1920. However, already on October 9, 1920, parts of the General 50. Siligowski from the secret sanction of Bayou. Pilsudski occupied Vilnius and a part of modern Lithuania and Belarus. In 1920-1922 Vilno was the capital of puppet state education media in Lithuania, actually under control of Poland. On February 20, 1922 the Wilenski Diet adopted the resolution on accession of the city and region to Poland. in the territory of the former Median Lithuania and a part of the adjacent West Belarusian territory the Vilenski Voivodeship was created. However, in the temporary constitution of Lithuania, 1918, in constitutions of 1928 and 1938 Vilna was called as the capital of Lithuania, of Lithuania, the city of Konas officially was called as the temporary capital. The Intente considered adequate compensation for loss of the Velensky region legal transfer to Lithuania of Klaipeda. Memel. Selected at Germany. The Polish authorities suppressed activity of the Lithuanian national movement. Most of the Lithuanian national intellectuals left the city. St. Nicolay's Church was the only temple where church services in Lithuanian were held since 1901. On September 19, 1939, Vilna and vicinities were occupied by the Red Army. It's according to the pre-war confidential additional protocol to the non-aggression pact between Germany and the USA both contracting parties agreed that they recognize the interests of Lithuania concerning the Volensky region. On October 3, 1939 in Moscow and arrived the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania by Erbison in the evening of the same day the Soviet part offered Vilno to Lithuania with an treatise about mutual aid. On October 10, 1939 in Moscow the contract on transfer to the Republic of Lithuania of the city of Vilno and the Velensky region and on mutual aid between the Soviet Union and Lithuania was signed. On October 22, 1939 in Vilno there arrived the first Lithuanian police officers. On October 27 parts of the Lithuanian army entered the city, and on October 28 the ceremony of a meeting of the Lithuanian troops was held officially, with a raising on Jediman's tower of a flag of Lithuania. A part of the local Polish population met arrival of the Lithuanian administration hostily. This hostility poured out in Massachusetts riots. Proceeding from October 31 to November 2 after which the policy of alitunization only became tougher. On August 3, 1940 Lithuania was a part of the Usar and Vilno. From now on the city in Russian officially is called Vilnius. Became the capital of the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic. Actually, the capital was transferred to Vilnius only in the late 40s. During World War II, the city since June 23, 1941 was occupied by the German army. In September of the same year, the Jewish ghetto was formed. During occupation by the victims of the Holocaust, there were 95% of representatives of the Jewish community of the city.
on July 13, 1944 as a result of the Vilnius operation, after storm of the city from July 7 to July 13, Vilnius was freed from the German troops by Army of the Third Belarusian Front under ID. Chernyakovsky's Command 12 5,000 fighters of the Polish Army Krajowa were also involved in fights with parts of the German garrison for release of the city on July 7, on July 14, 1944. The Operation Sharp Brahma In different sources the figure of fighters of Giant Stock Company reaches 15,000. On July 16, the Polish commanders were invited to a meeting to the General Czernikowsk and arrested. In memorial ensemble in memory of the Soviet soldiers of the Great Patriotic War on Antikolnist 2906 Soviet soldiers of the Third Belarusian Front who died at liberation of Vilnius are buried. After World War II, the language and cultural lituanization of the city, however, unlike the majority of the Lithuanian cities, amplifies. Vilnius keeps the multinational character. Russians, Poles, Belarusians, Jews, Ukrainians live in the city except Lithuanians. The official population of self government minus 588,412 people. On January 1, 2021, are about 20% of the population of the country. 62,000 more people constantly live in Vilnius, but are registered in other cities and the regions of Lithuania. In polyclinics of the city at the actual place of residence it is registered 732,421 persons. Every year Vilnius grows on average on 10,000 inhabitants, generally at the expense of remaining in the city and after completion of study of university graduates. The city long since differed in the multinational population. So, according to the All-Russian Census of 1897, among 154,532 inhabitants was 61847. 40.0% Jews, 47795. 30.9% Poles, 30967. 20.1% Russians, 6514. 4.2% Belarusians 3238 2.1% Lithuanians 4171 2.7% Other nationalities According to a general population census of 2001, from 542,287 inhabitants of 57.8%, Lithuanians, 18.7%, Poles, 13.9%, Russians, 3.9%, Belarusians, 1.3%, Ukrainians, 0.5%, Jews and 3.9% of representatives of other nationalities. In the city the Lithuanian, Russian and Polish languages are widespread, many inhabitants also know English. According to a general population census of 2011, from 543,071 inhabitants, 63.6%, Lithuanians, 16.5%, Poles, 12%, Russians, 3.5%, Belarusians, 4.4% of representatives of other nationalities. The population of Vilnius on religion 66% Catholics, 9.7% Orthodox Christians, 1.2% Old Believers, Lutherans and Evangelists Reformatov, on 0.2%, Sunni Muslims, Christians of Church of All Gospel and Jehovah's Witnesses, on 0.1%, followers of other religions minus 0.6%.
management of the city is under authority of Council of Self-Government of the City of Vilnius, consisting of 51 dicks. He is elected for four years according to lists of candidates of the registered parties of the Republic of Lithuania. In the first two months of the work the City Council has to elect the Mayor, to appoint Deputy Mayors and the Director of Administration of Self-Government, to form committees and Board of Council. The Acting Mayor, Remigius Shimishius, the former Minister of Justice of Lithuania, The territory of city self-government it is divided into 21 starostvo. Saninia. Which territories partly correspond to historically developed parts of the city, his suburbs and areas of new buildings. Economy. Vilnius is the main transport, financial, shopping and economic center of Lithuania from the retail trade developed by the sphere and services. The gross regional product of the city makes 25% of DDD of the country. 2011 Tax assignments make 22% of the budget of the country though the population of the capital is only 15% of the population of Lithuania. The bulk of jobs. 72% belongs to services industry, in the industry 20% of all workers, in construction minus 7.4%, in rural and forestry minus 0.5% work. Important branch of city economy is tourism, in a year Vilnius is visited by 1 1. 5 million tourists generally from Belarus. 19%. Russia, 15%. Poland, 12%. The capital attracts foreign guests not only the historical architecture, but also modern shopping centers, boutiques of the known brands, little shops of souvenirs, restaurants, casino. Services of accommodation are provided by 59 classified hotels, 15 hostels, 6 motels, with total number of places 8335. Thanks to continuous inflow of tourists, in Vilnius there are a lot of enterprises of retail trade. The largest centers of shopping, including and for guests from the neighboring Belarus. Our Acropolis, Panorama, Oses, located in dormitory areas and Europa, Central Universal Department Store. Central Department Store, Cup. Jedimino 9, located in the center. In Vilnius networks of food supermarkets, Maxima, Rimi, Aki, Norfa, etc. Network selling household appliances, topo centras, electromarked, senukai work. The were wholesale and retail Garyune market located on the western outskirts of the city near the beginning of Koneskoy Highway also belongs to the sphere of trade. He occupies the space of 32.5 hectares and about 10,000 small businessmen trade there. The Vilnius Stock Exchange works in the city and seven commercial banks having the license are located. Lumenor, Swedbank, Seb, Sioli Bankers, Medicinos Bankers, Citadel, Finasta, ten branches of foreign banks and other financial institutions. Industry In Vilnius 50,000 enterprises. A quarter of all enterprises of the country. Are registered. 2008. Electrical equipment. Electric motors and electric equipment. Light industry. Textiles, leather, clothes, footwear. Food, chemical and pharmaceutical. Woodworking and furniture treat the most developed sectors of the industry of the city, to specify production of construction materials, also mechanical engineering. Adias.
Textiles Vilnius ahead belong to the largest Vilnius to Apier Gala. Confectionery Vilnius Electrical equipment Virtionia ceramics Ceramics Lilia Ready to wear clothes Furniture Vrijishks Paper Sicker Biotech Pharmaceutical products Fermentus Production of enzymes In Soviet period in Vilnius large machine tool factories such as Zulgiris and Vilnius since 1948, the plant of a name of the 40th anniversary of October and Vilnius since 1957 The Vilnius plant of grinders, communaris, the Vilnius plant of drills There was the biggest plant on production of drills in Europe and the instrument making plants Sigma Vilma Zrip and also large 7,000 workers the Vilnius plant of the fuel equipment Pura Apparatura nowadays stopped existence worked the Vilnius plant of the electric equipment constructed in 1949 now reorganized into Kistville Skaters continues to turn out products Transport through Vilnius there past the European highways crossing Lithuania Berlin, Gdansk, Kaliningrad, Kiberté, Marijan Pol, Vilnius, Minsk, Gomel E. Klaipeda, Konas, Vilnius, the lead, Shunivtsi, Bucharest, Alexandropoli E. Klaipeda, Palanga, Sialie, Panyaveshis, Yukmarj, Vilnius From Vilnius conduct highways Vilnius, Konas, Klaiped and Vilnius, Panyaveshis. Further Riga. With departure on the international highway Viaduct Baltica. The Vilnius International Airport serves the international flights in the main European directions. The railway station Vilnius, not of several railway lines. Near the railway station there is a bus station. Vilnius has regular railway and bus traffic to the cities of Bolaris. Daily it is possible to reach Vilnius by bus Grodno, Vilnius Olida, Vilnius and also the train Minsk, Vilnius. Features of a relief and building didn't allow to enter the tram which functions since the end of the 19th century were performed by the horse tram. The extensive network bus. Since 1926. And trolleybus. Since 1956. Roots works. In the city one bus and two trolleybus parks. Trolleybuses and buses ply from 5 o'clock in the morning approximately till midnight. The one-time ticket for the travel by public transport bought from drivers of buses and trolleybuses costs 1 euro. Since August 2008 worked the e-ticket for 1, 3, 10 days a month. Since January 2013 payment for journey passed, instead of paper, to e-tickets for 30 and 60 minutes and also for 1, 3, 10, 30, 90, 180 and 270 days. So called. Card of Vilnius sets. Also transport can be paid by means of the M. Ticket mobile application.
since 2007 discussions about the choice of a further way of development of public transport in the city were conducted. Originally the high-speed tram. In 2008 the alternative, the high-speed tram or the subway began to be studied. At the end of 2011 the final decision in favor of the high-speed tram is cheaper and more corresponding to city passenger traffics with intention to build two lines was made. The station, Santarishks and Lazdene Nuyaya Mestis, the center, Yustinishks. However, in 2012 the Vilnius City Council decided that introduction of so-called fast buses will be an optimal solution with a capacity of 175 grazed. After reform of public transport, since July 1, 2013, fast buses are entered and numerous private minibuses disappeared from city streets. Since July 15, 2013, the city network of bicycle rental, Cyclosity Vilnius, has started. Since 2003 in Vilnius the funicular on which it is possible to rise from a foot of Zamkova Hora to her top where there is Jediman's tower began to work. Active navigation down the river Neris isn't conducted now, however in 1960, the 1988 years on her made flights in city boundaries walking and excursion Moskvich motor ships. Since 2006 one of them, Riga, resumed running along a limited route. Vilnius, the only capital in Europe from 100% supply with drinking water from underground sources. According to a census of Lithuania of 2011-97, 7% of residents of the capital are connected to the centralized system of the sewerage and a water supply system. Having access to the centralized system of discharge of water minus 95.1%. According to the Vilnius Vandinas Enterprise for 2012, in the city there were 550 columns with water. The majority in 9NK, New Vilnius Since December 2011 the solution of self-government of Vilnius in the city entered the ban on collecting by individuals arms, begging, handouts, etc. Except places at meeting houses, temples, monasteries, during the religious practices and cult ceremonies which holding was allowed by the mayor's office. Sport the largest stadium of Vilnius for 2016 is Alfie Felf Stadium. With a capacity of 5067 audience. The former stadium, Vetri, still earlier in Soviet period, was called locomotive as belonged to railroad workers. In Soviet period the Zalgiris Stadium constructed in 1950 was the largest stadium of Vilnius. Capacity, according to various data, from 18 to 20,000 viewers, it is nowadays demolished. In the region of Shashin near shopping center Acropolis, the unfinished national stadium, which construction was frozen in the late 80s, is located. The national team in soccer plays home games at El Fifel Stadium or at Stadium S. Their use in S. Durinasa Kones The largest covered platform of Vilnius is Siemens Arena. The second largest, the Utnos Arena. Ice Arena. The Palace of Concerts and Sport which was long time the largest covered universal arena of the city is preserved and now isn't operated. The largest swimming pool of the city, the 50 meter Ladineski Basin on Refurto Street. 13 built in 1980 was demolished by the mayor Vilnius R. 
Chimichius. The Vilnius Ski Center operates on La Colnia Street. On Lipovka. In the winter. Not every year. The outdoor ice rink in the downtown on Jedimino Avenue is filled in. Science and Education The oldest and largest higher educational institution, Vilnius University. Over 22,000 students. 2009 The former Vilnius Construction Institute is transformed in 1992 Vilnius Technical University and since 1996 Jedimina. About 13.5 thousand students. Bears a name. In 1993 INF2 the Institute of Aircraft was open as faculty. At the Lithuanian University of Educational Sciences. The former Vilnius Teacher Training College. There are about 12.5 thousand students. At the University of Mykolas Ramaris founded in 2004, 21 thousand students study. In Vilnius there are also military academy of a name of the General Junas Jumaitis, the Vilnius Art Academy. The former Vilnius Art Institute. The Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theatre and several private higher educational institutions, among them the European Humanities University beginning work in Minsk, in 2004 forced to stop work in Belarus and which continued work in Vilnius. Besides higher educational institutions of university type, training is conducted in the Vilnius Board, the former Vilnius Polytechnic, and other boards. Entrance examinations in higher education institutions and an order of their carrying out will be organized now by Association of Inclusion in Higher Educational Institutions of Lithuania. At revenues to absolute majority of specialty state exams which entrants take in senior class at high schools, gymnasiums and the Vilnius Lyceum are considered as entrance examinations. Special examinations for revenues to musical and art specialties are given to in the centralized order as selection and transfer on similar specialties both in state and in private higher education institutions of all Lithuania defines a uniform nationwide competition. Several tens of state gymnasiums and high schools and also one lyceum. Prior to the beginning of the 1990th had digital numbering, subsequently proper names were appropriated to them. With training at the Lithuanian, Russian, Polish languages and several mixed schools work. Besides, at High School of Francisco Rina teaching is conducted in Belarusian, at High School of Shola Malayam teaching is conducted in Yiddish, Hebrew. The Lithuanian and Russian languages. The number of schools is reduced in recent years. In Vilnius also the Academy of Sciences of Lithuania, the largest scientific institutes, the research centers, astronomical observatory are located. Culture In Vilnius there are about 60 various national, city, departmental and specialized museums. The Museum of Bank of Lithuania, the Customs Museum, the Museum of Frontier Guards, the Museum of the Victims of Genocide, Museum KGB, etc. In 2009 together with the Austrian Linz it carried a rank of the European Cultural Capital. Are allocated with richness of meetings and arrangement. The Lithuanian Art Museum, which part of the Vilnius Art Gallery in the former Hardkevichi Palace. Gallery of Foreign Art in the Radzivilov Palace. The Museum of Applied Art in the Old Arsenal, parts of the Lower Lock. National Art Gallery in number of branches. 
the National Museum of Lithuania operating as the historical and ethnographic museum. It is renamed in 1992. Branches New Arsenal Old Arsenal Tower of the Lock of Chedimin House Museum of Casas Artist and Collector The House of Signatories with the Memorial Room of Junas Basinovich Hughes The State Jewish Museum of Velensky Gaon with the expositions placed in four various buildings the Museum of Theatre, Music and Cinema in the small Radzivilov Palace in which in 1795-1810 the first public theatre worked. Museums of Vilnius University The Museum of Science of Vilnius University, Adam Mikovich's museum in the building where in 1822 there lived Adam Mikovich and others. Literary Pushkin Museum in the former estate of the Sun Poet G.A. Pushkin House Museum of Family of Venslova and other memorial museums In the city there is a planetarium The largest libraries are the National Library of Lithuania, Library of Vilnius University, Library of Academy of Sciences of Lithuania of Vrbleski in Vilnius there is a National Philharmonic Hall of Lithuania, several theatres and recreation centres. Theatres National Opera and Ballet Theatre of Lithuania National Drama Theatre of Lithuania State Youth Theatre of Lithuania Russian Drama Theatre of Lithuania Vilnius Meili Theatre Vilnius Children's Theatre, Lille Oskar Asakorshinova's Theatre Music Bands Vilnius Russian Folklore Renushka Ensemble Architecture In Vilnius several dozens of ancient and again built temples and chapels of various faiths are opened. Several Catholic works and Orthodox Men's and Women's Monasteries Vilnius is the center of the Roman Catholic Archbishopric and Orthodox Lithuanian Diocese. The old belief community of Vilnius existing from the first quarter of the 19th century, one of the largest in the Baltic countries. Several tens of Roman Catholic churches, Orthodox churches, Greco-Catholic and Protestant temples give to the city unique shape and demonstrate religious tolerance. Before World War II the city was the large Jewish cultural and religious center known as Northern Jerusalem. Many ancient Catholic and Orthodox churches and monasteries represent historical and cultural monuments. Their buildings are outstanding monuments of architecture of various styles and subjects to visit of tourists. Treat the major St. Stanislav and St. Casimir's Catholic Very Cathedral. St. Anne's Church The 16th century Late Gothic Church of Saints Piet and Pavel 1668-1676 Baroque Pearl The Ostrobramsky Chapel with a wonder-working image of Mother Bossier and St. Teresa 1635-1650 Baroque A Church of Saints I Nouve 1388 I.K. Flabitz's Reconstruction in Baroque Style St. Francis's Church Bernardine The 16th Century Gothic Style, Renaissance St. Nicholas Church 1320-1387 Gothic style The most ancient of the remained Catholic temples in Lithuania Jesuit Church of St. Casimir 
1604-1616. The first Baroque temple in Vilnius. In 1840-1915 I was the Orthodox Cathedral of St. Nicolae. Church of the Holy Spirit in Dominican Monastery. The second half of the 18th century. Baroque, a Rococo interior is later. The St. Michael's Church put by Lefsapago. 1594. Renaissance, Baroque facade. St. Ekaterina's Church. 1622, I.K. Klabitz's reconstruction in 1741-1773. Baroque, Rococo. Church of Ascension and Monastery of Missionaries. 1695-1730, Rococo. Church of All Saints. The 17th-18th centuries, Early Baroque. A Church of the Sacred Cross. Bonifritz in 1635 on the place of former. Greco Catholic Holy Trinity Church in Basilianski Monastery. 16th century. Prekostensky Cathedral. The 14th century. It is restored in 1865 1868. Pereskev Pietnitsi Saint Church, the 14th century. It is newly built up in 1864. Church of the Prelate and Wonderworker Nicolae, since the 14th century. The stone building is put by Konstantin Ostrowski in 1514. Cathedral Church Sacred Dekova of the Monastery with Relics of St. Valensky Martyrs Anthony, Ion and Estefia. 1597. Choral Synagogue. 1903. Karate Knossa. 1913. The main attraction of Vilnius, the old city and its hills, streets and buildings with numerous monuments and memorial tables. His largest and difficult architectural complex, a complex of Vilnius University. It is one of the few universities of Europe which are still using for designated purpose buildings in which it also was founded in the last quarter of the 16th century. The ensemble of Vilnius University takes quarter of the old city between streets piles, Shvianto Yono, Universiteto, Skepo. It was formed since 1570 in Ionuv and the Bell Tower, and 13 courtyard consists from 13 buildings to several buildings, including a Church of Saints. In the historic center of the city Zemkova Hora topped with Jediman's Tower is located. The tower remained from strengthenings of the top block and it is considered a city symbol. In 1960 in a tower the exposition devoted to the history of the city is equipped. On a roof the survey platform with which the panorama of the old city and valley of the Neris River opens is arranged. To Zemkova Hora adjoin a mountain of three crosses. In old times Boulder Curve. On the mountain in 1916 three white concrete crosses on the project of the architect Antony Vivolsky were established. Are blown up in 1951 and are restored in 1989. On the Mount Bekesha behind the Mountain of Three Crosses, the Hungarian commander Kaspar Bekesh. Stefan Batori's associate. Is buried in 1580.
at a foot of some cove or a cathedral near square with a monument to the Prince Jedimin, the Cathedral of St. Stanislav and St. Vladislav and the Bell Tower is located. Piles Castle and Didzai Beak Conduct ancient streets from Cathedral near Square to Town Hall Square. On her the Town Hall in style of classicism is located. From Ratushi Oshro Street water conducts to the remained ancient city gate to Sharp Brahma with a chapel and a wonder-working icon of the Ostrobramsky Mother of God. Among other sites, a presidency, the former Episcopal Palace, 1618, reconstructed in Empire 1824-1832 and serving as the residence of Vilensky Governor Generals. Rossi Cemetery with graves of outstanding figures of the Polish, Lithuanian, Belarusian culture. The Bernardine Cemetery. Since 1810, on Oshupas, monuments and other monumental works. International relationship. Vilnius Lina maintains relations with the Union of the Baltic Cities, Eurocities and other international organizations and also with 31 cities of the world, the Bruxelles Capital Region and Council Stockholm. Since 2016 in Vilnius twice a year there take place conferences of the Russian opposition, the Forum of Free Russia. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.